<laughs> this is Mad Dog and Merrill. Here's Mad Dog. Here's Merrill. You know, if you guys don't know it, Pete is like the funniest man alive. He is. He oh, is. Yeah, he right. really He's is. a clever guy yeah, here. Clever. He is very clever. Very smart. Very intelligent. Very clever. Tell my wife that, would you? Yeah, she she knows it. She no, just doesn't she want doesn't. to let on. She just hears the same jokes all the time. You, you I'm know, sure you know how it is at home, right? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my language. Yes. <laughs> Steak on a stick, delicious to do. I actually had a nice medium direct heat. I seared them up, the, just over the edge of the heat, I seared up the, the, the meat portion, and then I shoved everything back. I turned off some of the burners and slow cooked them, Pete. Uh -huh. I just cooked them through, and they stay so tender. And here's a little garlic barbecue sauce. Here's a little bit of our nature's garden, which is teriyaki. And all I do is squirt that into Look there. At that. I, it, it's a phenomenal combination. And just give that a nice little shaking. And that's the glaze that's on those steak sandwiches right now. And it just comes out just, just a wonderful little glaze over the top. The mm. teriyaki and the garlic barbecue sauce is phenomenal. Steak on a stick, wonderful well, to do. What kind of steak was that? Uh, the, it's grass-fed. So I went to the Oneida Market on, oh, on, on Packer Land. Very nice. So it's beautiful grass-fed. So it's delicious. It's very healthy, very high in protein, low in fat. Good I stuff. tasted some. It's Good great. For you. Yeah, Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Did a little bit of mustard steak, which is very easy to do. I did what I did. I've got some nice ribeyes here, and all what I did was I used a little bit of Dijon mustard, used some minced garlic, and some good old W sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Sure. Mix it up, brush it on the steaks, let it sit in the refrigerator for a good hour or so, then take them out and grill them. And the mustard really adds a really nice flavor. You could add a horseradish mustard if you want. I use the Dijon mustard today mm -hmm. on there. It comes out really good. Did you use Grey Poupon? I did not use the Grey Poupon. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, do you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> I think they're bringing those commercials well, back. Yeah. Hey, you know, if they head up to Fish Creek tomorrow, mm. we're going to be from just a, a nice short little period, but I'm in the cherry pit Spit, you are? The contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah have yeah, you yeah, ever yeah. done it before? No, I spit pits before, right. but never in a competition contest, before. Yeah. Right. I'm working up for it. I hope he uses that super grip on his teeth, though, so they <laughs> stay yeah. in. Oh, the I hate to, hate to see his falsies go flying yeah. out. So the at thing. the Orchard County Winery and Market, we're going to sure. be there from a quick 10 to noon. Yeah. We'll have our cookbooks for $10 up there, and then we're headed to Artie Fest. We're going to be doing some little pork ribs that yeah. we're going to be serving up, and then we'll do a stage show at Artie Fest in Clintonville from at, at 5 o'clock. Wow. A neat little stage show. We'll have our books there for $10. Well, you also. guys are all set, and of course, you can see them on CW14, 9.30 on Sundays and we'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.